Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Camila and in today's video I'm making an ocean theme serving board and I will show you how to make the perfect wave lacing effect. So let's get to it. Here is the board I will be working on. It is made of mango wood and is 52 cm long and 22 cm wide. I have already secured the back of the board with frog tape to make it easier to remove the dried resin drips. The first thing I do is checking the level with the bubble level up. I want the board to be properly level so that the resin doesn't flow to one side and mess up my waves. Once my board is properly level, I mix part A and part B resin together for about 5 minutes. I divided the resin into 4 cups. In the two larger cups I have 60 grams of resin each to add the mica powder. I add turquoise mica powder to the first and dark blue mica powder to the second and mix well. All the products that I use in this video will be listed in the description. I mixed well and set the cups aside and now add the white epoxy paste to the smaller cup. I have about 50 grams of resin here. Before I add the paste to my resin, I mix the paste well in the container with the spatula and add just a little bit of white pigment to my cup. It's better to add less and if it's too transparent, you can always add a little bit more. The resin had been in the cup for over 15 minutes and it was time to apply it to the wooden board. As I'm working with low viscosity resin, I find it is better to wait 15 to 20 minutes for the resin to warm up in the cup and then apply it as then the viscosity changes and it is a bit thicker and it doesn't drip as much. I only apply a small amount of resin to set the border where I want my wave to start and to cover the sides of the board. When you apply resin to the sides now and add a rest of the resin later, the resin will drip evenly and smoothly down. Now I'm pouring in more pigmented resin, a dark one on top and turquoise next to it and I'm playing around with it, trying to mix the colors together but not too much because I want to get an ombre effect starting from the turquoise and going smoothly into deep dark ocean blue. Okay, I'm happy with the effect and before I apply the white pigmented resin, I go over the board with the torch to get rid of any air bubbles. I carefully use the torch as I don't want to burn the resin. I use tweezers to remove hair and unwanted dust and now it's time for waves. I have 50 grams of clear resin here and I pour it where the ocean line starts. I still have some resin left so I pour line again till I run out of resin. Now I do the same with white pigmented resin, I pour a line next to the clear line. I think that is enough of white and before I blow the waves, I will go over the white with a torch to get rid of any air bubbles and also to warm up the pigment just to allow it to move easier. I'm now blowing out the waves using a heat gun. In this project, I'm not using any nozzles, so I'm not blowing as much air, so I need the heat gun much closer to my wave and I'm slowly blowing from one side to another. It takes some time to blow the waves, but don't rush it. The waves are slowly stretching and creating the lacing effect.
Now I wait 1 to 2 minutes for the resin to rest and pull back and then use my torch to get rid of any air bubbles and also to help creating even more cells. I cover it and wait till next morning and this is the final product. It turned out so beautifully. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed it. If you want to see more tutorial like this, please let me know in the comments. I also recommend checking out my other videos. The proposition cards will pop up at the end of this video. Thanks again so much for watching and see you next week.